It's not often that we see a new company making a breakthrough in the CPU air cooling industry, but Sudoku is doing just that. Following on from our launch review of the Proteus 360 AIO, today we are turning our attention to air cooling with a brand new single tower seven heat pipe cooler with an LCD aimed at just AMD AM5 platforms. But has Sudoku got it right with the SK700V? Well, let's find out. So this is the Sudoku SK700V. It is available in either black or white color scheme. So whether you have a black or white theme PC, there is one to match the system. It's priced at $75 for the regular SK700V, so the non-LCD version. If you want the LCD screen, it'll be $90 MSRP. You can pick it up from Amazon US. Currently, Sudoku is running a special promotion just for Kit Guru viewers, you can pick up the white version right now with a 15% discount using this code. For UK buyers, you should be able to pick this up on Amazon UK. The non LCD SK700 in either black or white is £75, and the LCD version, again, in either black or white color schemes, is £90. The Sudoku SK700V features a single tower heatsink designed with seven 6mm heat pipes and an FDB fan with a maximum heat dissipating power of up to 220 watts. It's equipped with a quad segmented LCD screen that can provide real time system information controlled by the Sudoku Mastercraft software. It also features completely unobstructed RAM compatibility, a low noise, high pressure fan, and it comes with a five year warranty. So this is only compatible with AMD AM5 platforms. There's no Intel support at all, no AMD AM4 support. It is just compatible with AMD AM5. It's a single tower heatsink and it only comes with a single 120 millimeter fan. It has a total of seven six millimeter copper heat pipes mounted into a copper base plate. The fan mounting mechanism on this is quite interesting. Instead of those fiddly spring clips that you have to kind of hook round the heatsink, this comes with a sliding mechanism, which is really, really slick and easy to use. So removing the fan is very simple. You can see the fan and the LCD screen are all removed in one motion. You need to remove the fan to install the cooler, but I really like that mechanism. There's just two guides there that the fan slots into, and then there's a hole at the top there for attaching the cooler, getting the screwdriver into. On the top of the cooler there are some pogo pins. That's to pass through the electrical signals for the LCD screen. And then that just comes to a standard USB 2 motherboard header. On the side of the heatsink here, there's some plastic trim panels. You can see the SK700 logo there. In terms of dimension, so the heatsink is 124 by 76 by 151 millimeters, and it weighs 1,353 grams. It comes with the fan pre-attached, but you do need to remove that, as I say, for installation. And it also comes with a protective film at the base, which needs to remove for installation. And you can see it is an electroplated copper base plate. There's a total of seven six millimeter heat pipes. They're not direct touch, but they are set into the copper base. Slide the fan back in place. With 20 years of PC manufacturing experience, CyberPower PC are the best in the business. With the largest range of parts available in the UK, our team of experienced builders will expertly build and test each system to be delivered to you the very next day. Check out cyberpowersystem.co.uk. And you can see on the top there is the LCD screen. And that has a display area of 70.7 .7 by 27.8 millimeters. So it's not a huge display and you can only display on here real time system information so CPU temperature, CPU frequency, etc. doesn't allow you to display a GIF or a video or any custom images on the display, but it does display information you need to keep an eye on how your system's running. So in terms of the build quality, it all feels nice. The plastics feel and look high quality. The fixings on the fan are covered by these rubbers, so you don't see any screws. It all looks like a completely screwless design. That sliding bracket feels good. You know, it's a nice, easy action. It's easy to slide in and out. The coating 
on the heat sink is nice and smooth and it's all even there's no areas that are missing so build quality wise looks very good the fan has a speed range of 500 to 2200 rpm with a zero rpm mode maximum airflow of 66.29 cubic feet per minute maximum air pressure of 3.74 millimeters h2o and a maximum noise output of 32.5 decibels it's a fluid dynamic bearing fan and the connection on the fan is a standard four pin PWM connection, standard USB motherboard header connection. So there's no proprietary connections and also there's no additional fan or control hubs needed to install and use this cooler. So the installation process should be quick and simple. You do need to download the Sudoku Mastercraft software to adjust the LCD display, but other than that, it should be a quick and easy installation. So that's just a quick rundown of some of the features and specifications of the Sudoku SK700V. If you want to check out the cooler in a bit more detail, head over to kiguru.net and there will be a full written review page over there. So let's take a look at what's included with the cooler, check out the installation process and see how this cooler performs. Included with the cooler is an AMD AM5 installation mounting frame, mounting frame screws, a long reach screwdriver, a tube of thermal compound, a thermal compound spreading tool, a grease cleaning cloth and user guide and installation manual. To install the cooler first you need to remove the fan from the heat sinks. Next remove the stock ILM from the motherboard. It's best to do this with the CPU in the socket to avoid dropping anything into the socket and damaging the pins. Then place the Sudoku installation frame in position over the CPU and aligned with the eight screw holes. Tighten the installation frame in position using the eight screws provided working from the inside screws closest to the CPU first and in an X pattern for even pressure. Apply some thermal compound to the CPU IHS. I like to use the five blob method as it gives good coverage. Now lower the cooler down into position over the CPU aligned with the mounting screws and tighten it up evenly and progressively moving each screw a little at a time for even contact. Now slide the fan back into the bracket at the front of the cooler. Connect the PWM cable to a motherboard PWM header connection usually labeled CPU underscore fan then connect the LCD screen to a USB 2 motherboard header and that's the installation complete. If you're looking for a new chair then definitely go and check out boolies.co.uk they offer a whole host of gaming and office chairs that come in a variety of different finishes and different colors. Let's start by looking at noise output as this gives us a good indication of performance based on the noise. At 43 decibels, the Sudoku SK700V isn't the quietest of all the coolers we have tested, but considering the fan is running at high speed over 2100 RPM, it is relatively quiet compared with the other single fan coolers. Only the Be Quiet Dark Rock 5 manages under 40 decibels at max speed. With the fans running at maximum speed and the 9800X3D clock frequency and voltage fixed the Sudoku SK700V manages a very respectable 63 degrees C over ambient average temperature which puts it level with the deep cool AK500 and just in front of the dual tower thermal right peerless assassin mini but only a couple of degrees off the huge Corsair A115. Reducing noise to 40 decibels gives us a great indication of the cooler's true performance. Again the SK700V does well here at 65 degrees C over ambient which puts it just in front of the Corsair A115 but just a few degrees off the excellent Be Quiet Dark Rock 5. However, this is good performance from the SK700V. In the PBO test, the important metric is clock multiplier as the CPU automatically adjusts boost frequency to hit a target temperature. The Sudoku SK700V does very well here, producing the highest clock multiplier at 51.4, which means the CPU is running 20 MHz per core faster than the Corsair A115, the Be Quiet Dark Rock 5 and the Deep Cool AK500, which is a higher overall clock frequency, but in the real world it wouldn't be very noticeable if at all. However, it shows the SK700V is a very good cooler for AM5, especially so for the 9800X3D, it shows solid overall thermal performance while outputting relatively low noise. So there really isn't much to complain about with the Sudoku SK700V. The installation process is really quick and simple, just that 
that one bracket to screw to the motherboard then the cooler attaches to that really easily the fan is really simple to install and remove that sliding bracket is a really good mechanism it works really well it's got really smooth action it's really simple to remove the fan and the cooler and slot it back in position much easier something like that rather than fiddling about with the older style spring clip design which we do still see on some modern coolers i'm not a massive fan of lcd screens on cpu coolers but this is definitely one of the better ones there it just shows the information you need so the system information like the cpu temperature cpu frequency so i think that it's quite subtle but it does give you the, the important information about your system that you need and obviously there's the non-lcd version which is a little cheaper you could just go and buy that if you don't need the LCD screen. Build quality of it looks excellent. The coating, either black or white on the heatsink, looks smooth and even. The plastics feel high quality and the LCD screen, albeit quite subtle, it is quite easy to read, nice and bright display. So overall, the build quality is good. The fan noise, even at maximum RPM of almost 2,200 RPM is quite quiet. And that also looks good, it looks very neat and tidy with the hidden screws the only things i can have a little moan about is obviously the price it's quite expensive at 90 dollars or 90 pounds you can buy some much bigger dual tower coolers for that price but as we've seen with testing this they don't necessarily perform better on this cpu and the other thing is it's not compatible with an intel platform so if you're an intel user you'll miss out on this but thermal performance is great insulation is quick it looks good with good build quality so if i was building an air cooled system this is definitely one that i'd come Consider. So that's the Sunoco SK700V. Let me know what you think of this cooler in the YouTube comment section. If you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy what we do here at KitGuru and you want to help support us, you can always head over to the store and pick up some merch, or you can even subscribe to our Patreon. And as always, if you want to catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews, head over to our website.